Then from R&B Reptiles, we got some feeding that we're gonna be doing. So just hanging out with a bunch of little rats here. And yes, we do live feeds, um, but we also do frozen thaws. So certain animals like frozen and some don't. But yeah, so we got a good video for you today. So stick around. Hey, Ben gave me this thing to open, so I'm gonna do it. it. Says it's from Etsy. I don't know what it is. He told me I had to open it on camera. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Well, we have. A rubber ducky pill bug pin. That's really cool. It's from our friend Adeline. Adeline Robinson Art. Hey, somebody named that did our logo banner page thing. Yep. Not Game still of Thrones. Hold that still. That's cool. Is that what you thought it was? Yeah. <laughs> That's Surprise! Awesome. That is awesome though. Put it on my arm to rub Tal's hat. We just want to share with you guys a little tip that we have. We found these online. You can find little uh, bug zappers. And so a lot of times when you're getting in bedding, things like that, you'll end up getting fruit flies um, or little tiny gnats. And this helps a lot. So we have one of these. And when we shut the lights off in our snake room, it catches a whole bunch of stuff. I know it's not one of the pretty things about keeping snakes, but it's definitely something that happens, and this really helps us out. So I'm not gonna, I don't know who makes these, but you can find them online. What's up guys? I'm gonna do a little showcase here for you about one of our animals. We try to spotlight these animals, and um, this is one of our good boys that we're gonna be breeding this year, that we are breeding. Uh, he already has a clutch in the incubator, so this is a Lemon Blast scaleless head. So, is, you can see, you can see it's a pastel pinstripe, and then scaleless head, so if I can get him to hold still. He's doing pretty good. See all the scales missing there on the tip of his nose? But there's a couple other things that happen as well with the scaleless head it's their scales actually look a little bit smaller um it's akin to the micro scale and i don't know if you'll be able to see it but it makes things almost look sharper and cleaner we like to say that since the scales are smaller it's almost like a higher dpi if you're into video so it's a sharper image not only is it cool that it has uh, missing scales on its head, and it's also, the super form is fully scaleless uh, ball pythons, which hopefully you guys have seen. Um, a bunch of people are producing them now, and they're really, really cool. Uh, we've held the first one ever produced, actually, and um, they're really cool. They feel like you're holding uh, an arm or a leg. <laughs> All right, we'll leave that one alone. So. It's really cool. Um, there's a handful of snakes out there that are scaleless, but ball pythons are pretty rare still, and this is the way to make them. We also have a, a female scaleless head, but she's not the size yet. So pastel is co-dominant, pinstripe is co-dominant. The pastel makes things very light and uh, gives you a bit of yellows, and then the pinstripe changes the pattern to see all these thin pin striping, which is exactly why it got its name. So they call this the Lemon Blast. And then the scaleless head makes it all much more cleaner and pretty. So he's a really good boy. We really like him. And we are looking forward to producing with him a lot this year. And uh, yeah, hopefully next year the female will be up to size and we'll get our first shot at some scaleless ball pythons. So stay tuned for that. 
Arm the elephant on the wall. Like and subscribe. Hit that bell icon. Get the notifications. Harumph, harumph, harumph. So the keratin and the exoskeletons are black light reactive. So I'm shining the black light on them just for fun to show you guys. Um, shouldn't do that often or a lot because it can sort of get, and I'm probably gonna get corrected for this, but sort of like a sunburn from it, if that makes sense. Um, so you don't wanna do it a lot, but if you're ever walking around looking for scorpions, real quick way to find them. Have a black light. So I'm just going through and doing some maintenance on the baby emperor scorpions. Uh, I don't know if you saw that video a while back when we got these guys in. They're doing really well. Um, molting. These guys are on. This one just went to the third instar, which every time they shed their exoskeleton, it goes up one pretty much. Uh, so in my opinion, we're we're looking to get rid of probably three of these. We only keep ten. So. Now that they have been eating for several months and molting, I'm ready to let go of a couple of them. Three of them, actually. But it's giving them a little squirt of water. But they're super cool. I don't know if you got in there real well, but. They like it nice and moist. <laughs> nice and damp. Send hate mail to P.O. Box 333. <laughs> so whenever they molt, I just keep track on there. So I know how old they are. But yeah, they're doing well. If anybody's interested in any, let us know. All right, guys, uh, it's been great hanging out. Just wanted to show you the little baby uh, pygmy pythons going through another shed super cute I'm actually about to feed them at the end of this video so but uh yeah they're cool and uh thanks for tuning in make sure to like and subscribe leave a comment if you have any questions and uh hope you're having fun <laughs>